something that was kind of a controversial uh, topic in the amphibian community. Uh, people said that fantasy frogs were sterile for a very long time and nobody's ever been able to breed them. Uh, they haven't got eggs, nothing. So here recently we actually proved that to be false and we bred a fantasy frog to an arena, which is a type of pet frog. Uh, we got a bunch of eggs successfully. We have tadpoles in the water now. So we're going to take a look at some of those and we actually have frogs that are coming out of the water that have some very abnormal patterns. Uh, as far as I know, and nobody's corrected it, but this is the first in the world that this has ever been done. The female was the fantasy frog and the male was the arita. So this is something pretty cool that we were able to do. Uh, the babies will be available once they're big enough. Uh, we're going to be keeping a, quite a few of them as holdbacks to try to breed those in the long run to see if that will be successful. But it's definitely a cool thing that we were able to finally figure out that fantasies weren't sterile. And it was kind of just by chance we always thought that they were just like everybody else but we just gave it a shot to see what would happen and we had a bunch of eggs so we'll take a look at some of the babies and we'll talk a little bit about the parents we'll show you guys the parents and we'll go from there cool thanks guys so here's some of the fantasy frog cross to arita pacmans uh, you can see this one here if my camera wants to focus has his front legs so he's going to be ready to come out of the water soon and we have we ended up with a couple hundred of them they just got fed their blood worms so they're down here eating uh, so there was a lot of different varieties that came out and none of them looked the same they all have really weird patterns uh, they look really cool some of them are green some are brown like the aritas and you can see the two traits really kicked in well and we'll go over and show you guys some of the babies now and show you what they look like out of the water so here's the froglets. Here's what they look like when they have their front legs and they're coming out of the water. These are the fantasy cross to Arita. Uh, there's some really cool ones in here. A lot of them have that pattern that kind of matches the dad, which is the Arita. And they just have some really awesome pattern. Uh, now we have also some of them, like over here, that are more green. You can see it has the green and brown pattern, so it has traits from both parents that are pretty visible. Uh, this is a really cool one. This one's probably going to be a holdback. This is a really nice one. So this is the first time that this has ever been done, which is a really cool thing. And we have one right here that it's just real green. Got some nice brown on the sides. And then a lot of them ended up showing more of the Arita traits, which are more brown. And we'll go over and we'll show you guys the parents. And you can see where they get their colors from. So here we have the parents. This is the mom. So this is the female fantasy frog. Uh, she's the one. She had about a thousand eggs, give or take. A few hundred of them make it. Uh, not always all of them will make it. Uh, but we got a pretty good batch from them. So she's pretty good size. And then the dad is right here. And this isn't how these adults are kept. I just want to get them washed up for a video so they look good for you guys. I think he wants to go back to her, I guess. So the, you can see the difference in size. The males will always stay smaller than the females do in Pac-Man frogs. And it's the opposite in pixies. You can see the size difference there. Uh, so you can see when, you, when we had the babies that I showed you guys, some of them were more green and they had the stripe down their back. And then a lot of them were more brown, so a lot of them picked up the traits from the dad and they look more like an arena. But there's a few that do look like a fantasy and you can see some of them that have both traits that are fairly obvious. Uh, so we still have a lot of babies that are coming out of the water and we're going to have a lot more cool variety to show you guys when they're ready. So hopefully another week or two and they should be coming out and we'll keep you guys updated but i figured we'd kind of go over this this is something that's pretty cool that's never been done before and we're definitely really happy that we were able to accomplish it here and the babies will be on the website when they're available so check them out and stay stay on the channel and subscribe make sure you stay updated with all the other stuff that we do because we have a lot of cool pac-man projects going on right now there will be some cool stuff that nobody's ever seen before on top of these guys. So make sure you like and subscribe and check it out. Thanks, guys.